Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk about how to grow spinach. Super easy crop to grow. It's a great one to start in the spring. It is a cold season crop, much like our other greens, lettuce, uh, kale. You can also be planting out things like carrots and beets and cabbage, uh, peas. I have peas already growing on this trellis right here, and this is where I'm going to be seeding my spinach today. Now you can plant spinach out fairly early. You can plant it as soon as you can work the soil. So I have a crop that I already have growing from seed. I planted out March 20th. I think was the date. Um, so here we are a little bit later, but we still have time to get another crop in the ground. Now you wanna choose a spot that gets full sun. That's what spinach wants to get up and get growing quickly. But if you can position it strategically, you might get a couple more weeks of harvest time out of it. So like in this situation right here, I have this wire A-frame trellis uh, for my peas to grow on. So if I plant my spinach right here, right at this point in time, it will get full sun and it'll get full sun for quite a lot of its growing season quite a lot of its life but by the time the temperatures turn around to pretty warm like summertime temperatures the peas will have grown up this trellis and will start shading this area and spinach can tolerate a part shade area and if you keep it a little bit cooler once it turns hot it'll be slower to bolt and you'll get more time out of it because spinach does not grow during the hot summer months it's something you can plant in the spring and then you can plant it again as a fall crop like you can put it in the ground again like late summer early fall for your second round. So to prep your planting area, you wanna make sure you've added in some good compost, work that soil so it's nice and fluffy, several inches down, and that'll keep the roots of your plants happy. We also wanna add in a starter fertilizer because spinach, oh, hi, Russell. Spinach is a fairly heavy feeding crop, so you wanna make sure you've got nice, rich soil for it to grow in. I already added a little bit of this fertilizer in when I planted the peas. So we're just gonna add a few handfuls in and we're gonna work it into the top couple inches of soil. You don't need to work it down very much further than that uh, because water will push it down even further and then your plants won't even be able to utilize it. So we're just gonna scratch it in kind of like this and your soil is prepped and ready to go. You also wanna make sure it's a well draining area. So raised beds is a really good idea. I'm gonna be planting in a container today as well that I've punched three drain holes in. So you just wanna make sure that that water is not gonna sit in the soil. So now for planting, I'm starting with seeds. This is a variety called Giant Noble. I prefer to plant from seeds. It's wildly more efficient than planting from plant starts because you get so much more from a packet than you do from plant starts, but it doesn't matter either way, you feel more comfortable growing your spinach. The whole goal is just to be growing it. Um, so I'm gonna be planting this and we want to just follow the directions on the back of the packet. It says to plant them about a half inch deep. And I don't really, uh, I kind of disregard the spacing on this. I kind of go with more of a square foot approach uh, to planting spinach in that I plant it fairly thick and I don't space my plants out three to four inches because um, in this sort of area, if I space my plants three to four inches, I would not be able to have very many here and it wouldn't be enough to feed even you know our family of three. Um, so I'm going to just sprinkle all of these seeds and I've got maybe, I don't know, a couple teaspoons of seeds. I'm gonna sprinkle them around in the soil here really easy and then I'm just gonna scratch them in like this you can add another layer of compost on top if you'd like to do it that way I find this to be pretty efficient and then I'm just gonna press down we just want to make sure that seed has made nice contact with the soil and it's not gonna dislodge anywhere and the next step is to water it in so I need to go grab my hose um, and that's pretty basic I've got a diffuser on the end of my hose that di diffuses the water so it doesn't dislodge the seed all over the place and the most important thing is just to make sure it doesn't dry out um, from the moment you plant it until it starts to germinate and once it starts to germinate and put on a little bit of growth you can back a little bit off on the water um, but this time of year when it's cooler outside it's really not that big of a chore there are some days where I come out and the soil still looks wet from my watering the day before so I don't water it it's just something you want to check on every day it's not a big deal um, and then fertilizing after this point is really not necessary because our crop is so fast like the maturity date on this specific variety is 45 days and oftentimes I'm harvesting before that anyway because I like to harvest the leaves off when they're babies they're a little bit sweeter and once they've reached their maturity you got to get on the harvesting because their leaves can turn a little bit bitter once they're past their maturity date and once the temperatures get a little bit warmer. So this is what I mean by water diffuser. They call it a water breaker because it breaks the flow of water and makes it softer. So I'm just gonna water them in quick. And that's it. 
Now, if you're wanting to grow your spinach in containers, it's pretty much the same. The only thing I would tell you is to make sure that your container is at least a minimum of six inches deep to help with moisture retention and keeping the roots cool. I thought that this was a really cute container. I picked this up at Walmart. Punch a few drainage holes at the bottom. You wanna make sure that your container drains to keep your plants happy. Um, but this could be used on a tabletop with a beautiful you know, crop of spinach growing. I think that'd be a gorgeous centerpiece. Or if you're you know, gardening on a patio or a deck or something like that, you can grow in containers and you do every bit as well um, with your crop. So I'm gonna put soil in first, then some biotone, then the seeds, scratch them in, firm it down, and water it in. All planted, it's essentially the same thing. You're just doing it in a container rather than in a raised bed. And you do the same exact thing if you're planting in the ground. And you can plant in rows if it makes more sense for your garden space, or you can plant in blocks like this, it doesn't matter. Um, they will grow great as long as you, you know, make sure your soil is good, you've got good fertile soil, uh, a good source of water, and they're well draining and they get enough sun. Um, and that's kind of the beauty too of containers. If you don't have a really suitable location in your yard to grow things like this because it doesn't get enough sun, then you can put it in containers and move it <laughs> if you need to, if the containers are uh, easy enough to move. So now I wanna go to another location in my vegetable garden to show you some spinach I already have growing to talk about the different types because there's a couple different categories. So this right here is the spinach I planted out on March 20th. So it's just a little bit over one month old. Um, so I was able to plant it out really early and it's been very uh, low maintenance just because it's so cool out that I don't have to worry so much about watering. Um, and you can see how beautiful it's looking. I, I went with the row approach on this variety because I didn't have that many seeds on hand. Um, so I thought that, that would make it be a little bit more organized. But the reason I wanted to show this to you is to show you that this is a flat leaf type of spinach. So there's two different types um, that I've grown and the flat leaf is really nice because they're easy to clean um, as opposed to the Savoy types, which I will show you right over here. So this right here is a variety of spinach called America and it's a Savoy type, which the difference between the flat leaf that I just showed you and this one is that the Savoy type spinaches grow very crinkly and ruffled like this. And they're just a little bit harder to clean because stuff can cling in the leaves. And I don't typically have a problem with that, uh, but that's just something to, to keep in mind. Now this crop right here, I planted last year. So this went in late summer last year and then it stayed throughout the winter months as did the lettuce right here. And if we have mild winters, spinach and lettuce and those type of really tough cold crops, they last and they even grow during the winter months when we get some sunny days. So I've been really happy with that variety right here, but it's always fun to experiment with different types. And I just wanted to show you and make you aware of the different types so you know what you're looking for um, for your own garden space. And that's it, you guys. That is my kind of beginner's guide to growing spinach. It's super, super easy to grow, super quick turnaround, and it's just such a great crop. Um, to put in your space. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.